Guys, welcome out tonight to our first live stream concert. Tonight we're going to be featuring Redeemed. Uh, they're a local band, uh, fresh to the stage. And this is their first debut performance. So we want to make you feel specially welcome tonight. So sit back, relax, and listen to the music. It's music with a message tonight. Amen. The world's coming out for your attention daily. Daily. Twisting the way you're supposed to view yourself Have you thinking you need to change your fading? Say it So you walk around fake just trying to be someone else Oh, oh, oh. I know that you don't know But you may just find May just find Oh, oh, oh. has a word to show you He says, mind your mind Mind your mind Treasure you are your worth is more than looks by far he's paid the price for you but won't you let him treasure you won't you let him treasure
Hi guys, my name is Lena. I just want to share with you guys a bit about my testimony. Um, before I got saved, I was in a bit of a sticky situation. Um, the father of my two kids were in jail. Um, I was battling addictions with weed and alcohol. Um, I was in and out of a lot of um, useless relationships. You know. Um, I was partying almost every weekend, but not even on weekends, I'd party on weekdays too. Um, during all of this, you know, I was struggling with depression and struggling with being a single mom. It got to the extent where I was just very suicidal. and. On the first week of September, I was ready to just let my life go. Because struggling with two kids and my messed up mentality really took a toll on me. So the day of September 5th, I was, about, I was considering really just committing suicide until I got stopped at a bus stop and I got asked, do you have a relationship with Jesus? And I said no, out of stubbornness and pride. Um, this Asian lady kept explaining to me, you know, her testimony and it was really powerful and relatable. She asked me if I wanted to pray the sinner's prayer and as prideful as I was, I ended up praying along and she invited me later on to a concert and I said, yeah sure I'll be there. Uh, I was tossing between no and yes, but I ended up going. Um, I can't remember the majority of that night until the altar call where I felt like a warm hand on my shoulder which was a sign for me to get up and answer that altar call that night. Since I gave my life to Christ, God has freed me from all my addictions to weed and alcohol and useless relationships, restored my relationship with the father of my two kids, and we're now married. He has restored my relationship with my sisters, who have now given their life to Christ. God has freed me from my addictions with alcohol and smoking weed and also being depressed. I no longer find my worth in the world, but I find my worth in, in Jesus Christ. Um, he's done a lot and he's still working in me. I believe that if there's hope for me, there's also hope for you. But you don't succeed When your life 
life's a mess and you're stuck in repeat When you're tired of life and you can't see Christ is the key When the tears come streaming down your face Lost yourself and you can't find your way When you gave everything but it still ain't enough Where do I go? share with you guys my life before meeting Jesus Christ. Um, grew up in a loving family. My mother, she was the main provider for me and my siblings. She did all that she can for us. She, to this day she does. And she always wants the best for us kids. My mother, she would put us in schooling and take us to our sporting events. Come from a Catholic background. And my, my faith was very little to none. So in sporting I was doing pretty well made junior reps and uh, experienced a ACL injury in school. I dropped out at year 11, um, started to work, uh, thinking working was just get money and provide for my family. Um, I would, this, was, this would be my life for, for two years and uh, started to, I noticed now I hit rock bottom. I, I felt like I was alone out there by myself. 
I became a very lonely, insecure person and lived a fake life, uh, lived behind a fake account, thinking that I have it all together. Uh, when I'm in front of friends or my family, they wouldn't know these things that I'm going through. This would be my life, I would hold this in and not really deal with this issue. Uh, I started to drink at 18 years old and in this scene, uh, it opened many doors to drugs, uh, gambling. And but deep down, there was still a weight uh, inside me. It was almost like a dead feeling. I got invited by one of my friends to come out to the park and do some exercise. Little did I know this very moment would be a life-changing moment for me. Uh, I come out to the park with him. We get out of our car and behind us comes my pastor today and his wife. He witnesses to me and asks if he could pray for me. If I had any injuries, I, I, I told him about my knee. And so my pastor witnessed to me and prayed for me. That very moment, as pastor was witnessing to me, I really felt God that bit there with me in that very moment. And my back was against the wall and God was telling me to come down, stop playing around. So um, I got invited to a service the next day. And the very next day I made the decision to go out. It was at the Eagleville Duck Pond. I didn't know what to think. I didn't really care because many things I turned to in my life before, I knew what they led to. And I thought, why not give this a shot? Cool. Pastor says, I feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and I really resonated with me and I started to tear up and when I heard God speak to me the weight inside me lifted off and I don't know any other love like that in this world and that's why I keep coming and I know Jesus is, Jesus is real if he can do that for me I know he can he can do that for anyone there's hope in Jesus Christ i
tonight you know the whole reason why we put on tonight's event and tonight's live stream concert is because we want to share with you the hope of Jesus Christ you know out there tonight there is a greater pandemic than COVID far worse than cancer it's called sin you know the Bible says that sin will separate you from God sin doesn't just affect you here in this life but it affects you for all of eternity. Now the Bible says the wages of our sin is death. But the good news for you tonight is the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ. You know, when Jesus died on the cross 2,000 years ago, he died for your sin. And even if you were the last person here on earth, he still would have come to die for you. Because God loves you tonight. And God brought you in touch with this live stream tonight because he wants to share the love and the hope that you can find through Jesus Christ and salvation tonight. And maybe there's sin in your heart. You know, there's sin in each and every one of us tonight. And undealt with, it's going to take us to hell. Ultimately, our sin is going to kill us tonight. But I want to extend to you an invitation, the same invitation that Jordan and Lena have both receive for themselves and that is the invitation to receive forgiveness for your sin through Jesus Christ and if you want to pray a prayer tonight to receive forgiveness for your sin so that you can make heaven as your home I want you to pray this prayer after me tonight but I want you to pray it with all your heart and I want you to say the words dear Jesus please forgive me for my sin Lord I thank you right now you died on the cross to give me a new life. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And help me to live for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You know, the Bible says tonight that you are a brand new creation. That if you prayed that prayer tonight, that you've had a brand new start. That God has wiped away your sin. God has forgiven you tonight. God has given you a brand new start. Now you're at the starting line of the greatest journey of your life. And we as a church, my name is Pastor Adrian. We want to help you in these next steps in knowing who Jesus Christ is and how you can have a relationship with him. And I want to encourage you, if you prayed that prayer tonight, I want to encourage you to reach out to us. My number is in the description field below. Uh, or contact us through our website. But we want to uh, send you a Bible. 
want to help you help you on the next steps of your Christian journey so that you can know who Jesus Christ is, not just a God in the sky, but as your personal Lord and Savior tonight. Amen. Appreciate you tuning in to our live stream concert. That's it. Until next time, God bless you.